Hey, how's it going, guys? Veteran Wings here. Um, it is beta weekend number two for Guild Wars. And it seems like they've changed quite a bit as far as the interface. Wow, not even one minute into the game, and this dude wants me to do something for him. Uh, I might as well just trigger the event. Probably not going to do it, though. Anyway, so as I was saying, it looks like they changed some of the interface on um, the evade bar. It, this actually looks better to me, because um, double tapping the keys, especially when you're fighting, is a little bit tedious. It's kind of annoying and kind of hard to actually, I guess, get used to. So I like how you can push the V button while you're running now and whatever direction you're running in, you just push a V, you know, dodge in that direction. It makes it a little bit easier, I think. It's, it's kind of like just if you were to push space bar to jump, except just hit the V button instead. Anyway, so I like that. Um, they changed up the traits and the skills a little bit. I'm just going to go over this real fast, because I actually want to get into the game and start playing. Uh, so they have tiers now, and I, I kind of already messed with this a little bit, as you can see. I had 30 unspent skill points, and um, instead of just all the skills being unlockable like right from the get-go, you kind of have to work your way through the tiers. So all of these are worth one skill point, and you get five of them. You unlock the next tier, and these are all worth three. I assume these will probably be worth five each. I'm not sure, but it's just a guess. And then the elites, of course, you have to be level 30. I'm still not level 30. I'm level 24, about to be 25. Oh, and as you can see, uh, they didn't delete beta characters from the last beta. So I'm able to continue with my character, which I made a thief. And I'm able to keep going. Uh, they, they opened some new areas. Uh, this is not a new area. Uh, I'm going to have to find the new areas. So I'll search for that later. But anyways, as I was saying, I'm going to go over this really quickly. And buy myself a new skill. Or two more skills, because I need, should probably have two more if I want to be pretty effective in combat. Let's see what we got here. Flip vulnerability, weakness. These look like just conditions, chills foes. Set a trap. I've already got a trap, so this I've got one that's going to knock down people when I place that down. Mobilize and poisons foes when triggered. Looks like this. Alright, okay, shadow step. Set a trap. You vanish and still shadow spec. Uh, um, nothing that I really like yet. That's a pretty good one. Regenerate extra initiative. That could come in handy. Let's use that. So when it's passive, I'll get extra initiative. When I actually use it, I shadow step. So there's an extra shadow step that I've always got. I didn't buy this shadow step. This one doesn't really do anything. Oh, okay. Never mind. You can remove conditions and return to your original location with that. So that's kind of useful. Haste. Gain quickness. Okay. Quickness might be useful, but let's see what else I got. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know. Gain a random boon. Uh, why would I want to remove a condition from my enemy? You know what? I'm thinking. I'm thinking blinding powder might be a pretty useful thing to have as a thief if I want to be up close and personal blind everybody around me and I and I actually help my allies out so that's kind of a, a support support utility skill right there I still have tons of skill points I just don't know what I want to do um, I might as well use them though because it's not like I can use it on anything else so let's, let's just buy a few might be useful. Needle trap. That might be useful. And let's get one more. 
Uh, I could chill my foes. Inflict vulnerability and weakness. Next three attacks. Let's try this prayer to Lissa. I don't know what it is. But it might be interesting. Okay. So now we've unlocked the next set. Okay, six skill points for these, so I was a little off. Mobilize the challenge. Oh, this is what I had in the last beta, and I really liked that one. Kind of got the aggro off me and put it on that extra thief. So I might do that one again. I kind of want to try something new as well. 10% increase in movement speed. Oh, look at that. You know what? I, I'm liking that. I get to move faster all the time. And I can blind and immobilize. Roll for initiative, smoke screen. Locks projectiles and blinds. But this is kind of like shadow form from Guild Wars if you've ever played which the assassin was my favorite character uh, at one point in time and so it's like I can block projectiles just like shadow form don't say anything about spells but I mean why would they add such a huge tank utility skill to this game oh I had that one that one really was not that great when I used it so I'm gonna get this signal of shadows, increased movement speed, and blind and mobilized target. Um, you know what? What should I switch out? Let, let's see how we do without gaining extra initiative for right now. And maybe I'll put that in later. I got my phone beeping. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm getting text, text messages. Sorry about that. Still have four skill points. Um, yeah, there's nothing else I can unlock through tiers until I get a lead, of course. So, four skill points. Maybe I'll buy an extra. Buy myself an extra heal here. Okay, so. Healing is zero. Let's say healing is zero. Healing zero. Regen four seconds. One forty-seven heal. Stealth duration three seconds. Going backwards. Healing one twenty-one. Healing one twenty-three. But it also grants health when I attack. This one has a huge amount of healing. So maybe I'll use that. All right. So I think I'm good with that. Now let's go into traits. I don't think they changed this. I think this is about the same. So, if I can remember what everything does, Deadly Arts increases power, critical strikes, precision, Shadow Arts, toughness and healing, uh, acrobatics, vitality, uh, trickery, I'm just going to go for the, I never really messed with the traits in the last beta, I didn't have much time because I unlocked it pretty late, so let's put this up to 10, and that's what we got here. Plus 50% damage while downed. Traps apply 10 seconds of poison when triggered. Oh, look at that. Okay, I apply poison when I steal. Okay. Deal damage when stealing. When applying venom. Gains 2 stacks of might. I, I don't know what that means. 40% chance to cause vulnerability. Increased poison duration by 32%. You know what? Let's go with poisonous traps because got a little tripwire. Let's do that. Be all poison-like. And I guess we could go for critical strikes. Or maybe shadow arts. Uh, let's see what we got. Vitality. Vit vitality increases my health, I believe. So, can we swim this on evade? Acrobatics major trait. Let's see what these things do. Critical hit chances increase by 5%. It was about 90%. Eh. 
I don't have enough to get any of these anyway, so I'm gonna put four into something. Let's just go with critical strikes and just be kind of a hack and slash kind of character. It's a beta after all. I just wanna see what's going on. Sorry, I'm just replying to a text. <laughs> all right, let me get out of here. So I think that's about all the new stuff. And I kind of want to find this new area. So I don't know where I would start looking. Oh, can I not do the demo anymore? Personal. Okay, yeah. I can't do any more of the story. The personal story. Sorry about that, guys. Um, let's see. Okay, so there's a skill point that I didn't do over here. And one over there. I could have sworn I'd, I did these skill points. I know there was one over here I didn't do. Because that guy was dead. You know what? Let's, let's see if I can get that real quick. This guy over here was dead in the last beta. Since this beta just started up, maybe he reset and they fixed it or something. See if I can do this challenge real quickly. I don't know why it's taking so long to load. Kinda... They took away the loading bar and added this this little circle right here. I don't know if I like that or not. Oh, but I do like the new mini map. Uh, you can actually resize it. Oops, I think I think that's as big as it gets. But Anyway, that's that's still pretty big for a mini map, so I kind of like it at this distance. It doesn't really get too much in the way, and I can see quite a bit. So, okay, I don't lag too much. Let's go see what's over here. Please be alive, and he's alive. Okay. Step right up, Carnival Noahs. Test your strength against mine and win a prize. Oh, this should be pretty easy. They call me and like me. How exciting. You think I'm too old to kick the tail? Oh, I didn't know I was going to have to fight him. Break my snout. Beat me and take home a prize. Oh, man. <laughs> Getting right back into the combat right away, not the easiest thing to do. So long, I'm forgetting what my skills do. Oops, probably shouldn't have used that right there. You think I'm too old to kick your tail? Don't judge a great by a snout. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So there's that skill point. Which means I can probably unlock something else, huh? Did I get level 25? No. No, I think I got level 24. Anyway, I have no idea. I'm so lost. Yeah, I'm gonna save these. I only got two. I've earned an achievement. Go to the achievement panel for more information. I got mail. You have gained renown with the character. Grateful characters will send you a letter with a cash reward. You can even visit and spend time on unique items. Wait, what? <laughs> I gained renown. I'm I'm assuming this has to do with completing every event here in Queensdale. And I think this is the Renown that it's talking about. I have, I have a little chest here on my mini-map. Okay, so I get rewards for completing the map. Okay, so this is something I didn't... I wasn't able to uh, find out in the last beta because that skill point was glitched. So 
this is really interesting. I'm, I'm liking this. This is a nice little incentive to do everything I need to have. I received a boom, probably from that guy fighting over there. So wow, that's a lot of money. Um, it's a lot of experience, and it looks like you get some good, good little one-off rewards. Um, I can probably sell these. It doesn't look like I'm gonna really need them, and some uh, crafting material. So let's, let's take that. Yeah, it's quite a bit of experience. Definitely a good, good incentive to be doing those. More people should learn to barter. All right, so let me see what I, let's see what I can sell here. So this this mask is not quite as useful as the one I currently have. Um, as far as defense goes, but you know what? It's got a rune on it, and it's got plus five power, plus fifteen power in total. Uh, at least I, if I assume how these runes work, which I guess it just automatically is plus ten power. So, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna sell that. I'm actually gonna use that, even though the defense is a little slightly worse. It's only one. Okay, and this would actually soul bind it to me, that's fine, whatever. So we'll sell that. Oh, I can sell junk. Uh, okay, but how do I know what's junk and what's not? Or how does the game know what's junk and what's not? Is what I should say. Uh, I can always buy back, so you know what, I'm gonna take a... Go out on a whim here and just see what happens. What did that sell? Deleted items, broken claw, two stone. Okay, so that's junk. Okay, so junk is probably just these little quest items or whatever these would be used for. I'm not sure. So if I click that again, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so it really does have to be absolutely worthless. So that's a useful little tool. I like that. I can't use that. Copper ore, tiny totem. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep some of these and try to put them in a bank slot. Maybe I can do a little video on crafting later on. See if I can figure out what crafting's all about. Can't use a hammer. Alright, so I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be back in a little bit. Thanks for watching, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. And, um, I figure... Since I completed Queensdale in its entirety, I'd go and try to find the last two skill points here in the Kessex Hills. And see if I can get any rewards here. Should be a better reward since it's a higher leveled area. Also, I'm going to scale down the map just a little bit. So, there's a skill point over here. And you know what, before I do this, let me get in a little safe area over here. I just, I'd like to check out the, uh, the tr they, they said they updated the trading post. And they give us, it looks like 3,500 gems for free in this beta. I only got, what, like 2,000 in the last one. So this is the gem store. It's been significantly updated since the last beta. So I just want to kind of browse through here real quick, see, see what this is. Featured items. Uh, not yet implemented, not yet implemented. Uh, not really sure what that means. See what happens if I click that. Oh, okay, uh, that would buy it, I think. Oh, I think this is a a gift feature. You click on this and you can gift it to your friends. That's why it's not yet implemented. So okay, so this would actually, yeah, I could buy these now. So it looks like I can get one of these for 35 gems, five for 125 gems. Blackline Merchant Express. I, I guess it's like a merchant summoning stone in Guild Wars. Trader. You know what? Maybe it's not. I don't know. Oh. Allows you to summon a merchant anywhere. This merchant has some basic items. For, okay. So it is like a merchant in Guild Wars. Uh, Black Lion Trader. Giving you access to trading post pickup anywhere. Okay. So I didn't know you couldn't pick up anywhere. So that's interesting. Mini Random Tri Pack. That's what I bought last time, actually. So, 
I believe there's a um, an actual way to get even more gems. Let's see what I can find out here. Maybe I click on buy more gems. Beta special. Yep. So I can get another two thousand. And I'm gonna stop the video just for security reasons. <laughs> so see you in a sec. Alright, I'm back, and wow, I've got 5,500 gems. That's quite a bit more than I was allowed, <laughs> allowed to play with in the last beta. So, this should be interesting. Um, let's see what I can go through. I might as well buy some of these bank access, because you know what? They don't cost a lot. And that, I feel like that's going to be very useful. Take that. Okay, so that's where those are going to be. And you know what? I'm going to use one right now, actually. Because, like I said, I'm going to see if I can collect crafting materials and try to get a crafting um, type video going on later. So, is that really all I need to do? Is there anything special about this? Collection? that I've gotten here. I really like this. You can store cooking items, gemstones, jewels, whatever whatever these are. I don't know. <laughs> Fine crafting material. Oh, okay. Oh! I can store crafting materials. So you know what? Let's put these back over here. And I can collect them in here. Perfect. I don't have to waste any of it. And you know what? I was going to put these in the collections tab too with my other mini pets, but I, it doesn't seem like they have a slot for these two specific ones. Because as you can see here, if I take this one out, I can just hover it over anywhere and it automatically put it in. But this one and this one, it looks like they're missing them, so I'm just going to put them in my bank. So that's the, that's the bank, and that's my inventory. It gets a little confusing with these overlapping, um, I guess, screens, but I kind of like the, the opacity being low at the same time, so I can still kind of see if an enemy's kind of closing in on me if I'm in a menu. Okay, so, you know what, I might as well just mess around with some miniatures. Uh, let's, let's buy some of these. I'm just going to buy one of these just to see what it is. So, promotions. What is promotions? Looks like they have no promotions. Style. Get sunglasses. Cook's outfit. Sailor's beanie. This looks like just cosmetic gear. Which I'm not so interested in. Consumables. Mystic Forge. To okay, so this is the Mystic Forge that they were talking about. If you have junk, like weapons or whatever, you know what? Probably should have kept that Warhammer from earlier, because I can't use Warhammers on this character. You get, anyway, you give it to the Forge, which I think they said was in Lion's Arch. Head to Lion's Arch to discover the Mystic Forge. And Zomoros, whoever that is, I'm not too familiar with him from any of the lore, will uh, basically give me a random item in return. So... I'm not going to buy the stone yet, just because I haven't even been into storage, the forge. But that should be interesting. So, a box of fun. Spawn a box full of random fun for everyone in the area. And... Okay. Okay. So that's cool. Might as well buy one. Just to, like, check it out. It's kind of like, I don't know, like maybe fireworks or like a transmutation stone or whatever, kind of like from Guild Wars 1. Uh, support. Bag slot expansion. And an extra bag slot here. Inventory. Each character can have seven bag slots. Yeah, why not? I can always use more inventory space. Bank Access Express. This is yeah, this is the same thing I bought from the main menu. That's, so, if I go home, it'll give you, like, featured items and hot items. Okay. 
but they're still all listed under here. I already got some perfect salvage kits. It removes an upgrade on um, instant repair canisters. Repairs quick items without the need of a repair merchant. So that would be good for dungeons. Definitely would be good for dungeons. Let's get five of those. I got tons of gems. I don't know what to use this on. You know what? I'm I'm a noob, so we're gonna buy some revive orbs. We're gonna buy two of those. Just because I feel like I might die in a critical area with no one around me. Because knowing my luck, you know. Character slot expansion and bank tab expansion. Don't need to buy that right now. Still got tons of room in my bank. Crafting booster, common booster, magic find. Improve your chance to get rare items by 50% for an hour. You know what? Let's try it. Buy two of those. Kill streak, experience booster, experience booster. You know, th here's the thing. People are complaining that, you know, they're selling real, like, real world items for, or sorry, in-game items for real world money. But you know what? When it comes to getting experience from a kill, like just killing an enemy in this game, the experience is very, very low. Most of your leveling experience is going to come from dynamic events, uh, renowned heart events, and completing each area, like, in its entirety. That is how you get experience. Killing enemies, sure, you can get experience, but it's not going to be too much. So you know what, I don't have a problem with these experience boosters at all. Because they're not that significant to begin with. And an extra 50% on something that's already pretty low, you know, that that's that's nothing. So, but you know what, I'm going to buy one just for the heck of it. Because these gems were free. And look at that, they have a booster pack now. Contains an uh, increase to karma. Uh, killing enemies and a magic font. Oh man, I'm retarded. I should have just bought that. Because I basically just bought the magic find and the experience booster which cost me 300 and this is 300 and I could have got one of those <laughs> oh, okay I should probably read yeah, I'll buy another one buy the whole booster pack this time save 75 gems now minis okay, I already got one of those yeah I'm gonna keep the gems how they are for now and maybe maybe I'll actually trade some for gold how much I can get. So, currently, the, the market price looks like I'll get 16 silver for 100 gems. So, if I were to trade all my gems, I get 4 gold, 32 silver. But I don't want to do that. And you know what? Actually, I've got 32 silver, and I really have no reason to spend it, so I'm not going to do that. That's the new currency system, or whatever you call it, trading post. And you know what? I like that a lot. It's much smoother than the last one. Um, I haven't really looked at the trading post with other players. Let's figure it out real quick. But it, this is basically the same. They show you, you know, top supply, top demanded, top traded, top valued. It's all, it's all there search for whatever you want and, um, and sell your stuff you know I'm not gonna sell anything but you know, I could and I've not made any transactions and apparently I've had a trade profit of 11 copper I guess I did that last time I don't really remember so let's go do this skill point I'm ready um, well I'm as ready as you know I'll ever be I kind of forgot how to play the combat in this game since the last beta has been so long. I'll try my best, for sure. And I think I'm moving slightly faster. I think. I don't really have anything to compare it to. It is up here, right? Yeah, it's totally up there. Are these guys aggressive? Yeah, they totally look aggressive. Oh man. 
Come on, get up. What's wrong with you? There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to run past these, to be honest. Um, might as well use... Oops, I didn't pick up my stuff. So take that. Take that. Got something attacking me. Nice. Okay. So I'm starting to get the hang of this. Granted, that was a fairly easy fight. <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> starting to remember what my skills do. Air canisters, revive, revive, that, and that. Oh, did I not take these? Okay, there we go, now I took it all. So now I should have a pretty full inventory. Uh, let's, let's use one of these. Let's use one of these. I'm going to use that. Uh, keep these here, because I know I'm going to be dying. Keep that as a pack for right now. It's like a little fun thing. And let's see what I get. Ooh. These look these look quite a bit more menacing than the last ones I've had. Moldmere Berserker, that's a centaur. Great slaver. Kinda like the shade. Let's go with the shade. And yeah, let's access the bank. I figure I can just buy more of those if I need to. Put these guys away. You too. I feel like that was kind of a waste, but hey, whatever. It was free. Alright, let's see what we got up here as far as the skill challenge. So we got somebody else doing it too. Fight Topo. I guess that's a skill challenge. Let's do it. Cease fire. That, that was easy. Sticky already just fine. He already triggered it, so I just had to help him do it. And looks like I got a new skill point. As well as that one completed. So there's one over there that I gotta do. Now that's contested. So this is probably the closest place. This is the last one I gotta do, and I'll complete this area. And then I'm actually gonna try to find the new area they're talking about. go to the south. Risen Brute. These look like zombies. Okay, so this guy, this guy wasn't even attacking me. I was doing so many evasive or whatever maneuvers on him. Oops, this guy knocked me down. Come on, come on, get up. Why are you getting knocked down so long? Eh, interesting. doesn't look good. Alright, so on to the skill challenge. And you know what I... Th no, these are definitely aggressive, so let's see if I can just squeak, squeak on by, sneak on by, whatever. Kill a few enemies along the way. Come on, come at me, bro. 
Oops. You've been inflicted with condition. Blah blah blah. Heal. Otherwise. Heal. Oh, I'm totally forgetting to search bodies. Yeah, doesn't look like they've had anything anyway. Try my short bow. I'm in bad shape here. Come on, heal up. I gotta remember what these do. You perform the combo. So I've taken a down penalty. I don't know how that's going to affect me too much. Or how I get rid of it. But I found a die. Uh, unidentified die. Silver lead die. Whoops. What did that do? Did that unlock it? You know what? I guess there's only one way to find out. What is silver lead? Oh, common dies. Okay, so this is your starter. But I've just found silver lead. Okay. Yeah. Undo all those changes. Do I like that better? We'll give it a shot. It's not too bad. But I like the black better. So we'll stay with the black. And I gotta do a vent up here if I want. For sure. How do I get to that skill point? And I can go through here. Okay. 
There we go. You know what, I think I'm liking the, um, the other healing ability that I have better. Uh, I can't change it right now. Okay, so I believe the skill challenge is just to drink from or touch that whatever that is over there. Fire. Looks like maybe a geyser, I don't know. But I gotta get rid of all these things first. So it's not gonna be too easy. So I don't know if I wanna come back. I want to see if I don't really want to use that resurrection orb. So let's go back over here. And this is the last one I need, so I really want to complete this. Right, I'm going to skip to it. Alright, so I made it back. Or somewhat back. If I can remember how to get over there. Oh my. Seriously? I got in here. Looks like just two. No, there's definitely more than two. Where can I pull them? Oops. Thank <laughs> you. 
probably start evading that attack. I need healers. Seriously. I'm in bad shape here. Ugh. I don't know how I just died. Maybe I can get myself back up. There we go. Try this again. I got anything that can help me? Not really. Not so easy, but I think I'm dwindling down. If I can just heal up. Don't go run in there. Oh my god, this guy's so dead. you kill him, alright? <laughs> I'm starting to run out of health here. Aw, oh, shit. Get him. There. Now get me up. Thank you. Oh, good man. We got this. Let's see if I can. Oh, no. 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 Come on, get me up. There we go. Let's kill this bitch.
Oops, how did I pick that up? Now that's completed. Let's get to a safe area. This area is definitely safe. I need you. Seriously. Alright. Let's get out of here. Somewhere reasonably close by. Now let's see what we got as far as this chest goes. Yeah, it's quite a bit more money than previously. And, we got a new spear gun. But I can't use them anyway. Wait, yes I can. This just requires level 26. It's much better than what I got. I'm going to have to save that. This requires 26 as well. I'm going to save that. Experience and some monies, some crafting materials, and now let's go check out this Mystic Forge that I'm hearing so much about. Shall we? I'm gonna pause it real quickly just so I can check the forms and if there's anything I need to know about the new areas. Alright, I'm back. And apparently the new area is right outside Lion's Arch. So, let's go take, check out this uh, Mystic Forge, and then I'll go check out the new area, which should be somewhere around, probably over here. It's apparently a 25 to 35 zone, so it's going to be quite a bit more difficult than what I've been doing. But now I gotta find the Mystic Forge. So I don't know where I would find it. Karma Merchants, Cooking Station, uh, Merchants, Guild Registrar, Banker, Guild Banker. Where am I, by the way? Oh, that's where I am. Trading Post, Undiscovered Form of Interest. I guess I'm just gonna have to search until I find something interesting, huh? Always travel over there. Might as well get every area for this place, so while I kinda search around and discovering stuff, I'm gonna pause the video and be back shortly. Alright guys, I'm back and haven't really been doing anything other than just running around Lion's Arch, uh, unlocking waypoints, so still got quite a few more to go, and I, I think the area that I'm supposed to go to, the, the new one they unlocked is over here, so I'm going to check that out later, but right now, i got a few more waypoints to find here in Lion's Arch, and uh, hopefully I stumble across the Mystic Forge, so I'm just going to walk around let you guys enjoy the view for a little bit while I unlock these waypoints. Six watch over you. So it looks like I just got increased movement speed to travel around the city. So that's definitely that's nice. Should be able to get around here quicker now. Do you require my assistance? Gotta be careful.
don't know why I did that. It just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. Oh, this is old Lion's Ark from Guild Wars 1. Oh, I can see it now. Yep. This is definitely the original. That is cool. I didn't get to see this in the last beta. Mostly because I just didn't explore. It was definitely here. Everybody wants something. Break it, I break you. like the Tingu, but I don't believe they are. Or, you know what? They are the Tengu. So if you know anything about Guild Wars 1, you'll know who these guys are, these old bird men. <coughs> That's the first time I've seen, seen them around. How do I get over that waypoint? I guess I passed it on the way here. Oops. It was up there. Oh no. Oh, I don't have to go around, never mind.
cars. Here's a diving board. Diving goggles, really? Interesting. Hello, stranger. Okay. So, let's see what happens here. We're gonna dive off the board. if you ask me. But fun nonetheless. Let's try it again. I think what's going on is I'm, I'm belly flopping. And that's why the animation is looking like that. Try it. Let's see if I don't belly flop this time. That's why it's saying interrupted. Because I'm inter getting interrupted in the middle of my dive. I did it again. There we go. That was a good dive. Six, watch over. Stay safe. Victory 
at any cost. So, in case you guys didn't realize, I just kind of wanted to point out this little arena here. It happens to be the symbol of Arena Net. I thought that was a little Excelsior. funny. Just in case you didn't catch that. So maybe this isn't the way out that I thought it was. Maybe it's a different area that they opened up. Let's find out. Yep, definitely not it. May the six watch over you. Peace is worth fighting. May the six watch over you. This guy's no help at all. Oh wait. Oh! That's what that is. There's the waypoint. Oh wait, I can set waypoints? Hold up. Check this out. I don't think I can set them through the actual map. Okay, so that's how you get a, a waypoint. Talk to some dude. So I go back to where I am. My waypoint. So let's set the waypoint to the elite stuff. I should check that out. March. There, now I should have a waypoint to the elite area, which happens to be right there. There, it looks like. Yep, this looks like it. Oh, this is cool. I have everything you need. Just Colonial. Required level 35. Exotic. What is this stuff? This must be a different type of currency. Which I don't have. Just gonna go through the armors real quick. I'm assuming what they're wearing is what they're selling. They're probably selling some other stuff too. Pretty cool looking, that's for sure. Still have a little point of interest over here, I gotta find out. Not really anything too interesting. 
What else I gotta get? Okay, so I'll go over here, start my way to the postern ward. Now see, I wonder if I'll get a a map completion chest. Yeah, I probably will. 70% complete the chest, even though I'm not doing um any renowned heart events or skill challenges and just locating areas. They're still gonna reward you, probably not as significantly, but reward you nonetheless. Now, this green arrow, I'm sure you've probably been wondering what it is on my map. I think what it is, it's it's directing me towards my personal story. But since I've already completed it, it's telling me to go there. Which doesn't really lead me anywhere. It's, just kind of, it's going to lead me back to Divinity's Reach and there will be nothing for me to do. So we just kind of ignore that. I've come to gather information for our comprehensive history of life. All these karma merchants are selling loaves of bread, and they're not even selling it for karma. They're selling it for copper. So, I don't know, maybe... Maybe they'll become karma merchants after I locate everything. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Maybe it's a bug. I don't know. Somehow doubt it. Probably something I have to do to unlock their, their secret store where I can spend my karma points. I still have quite a bit of karma that I didn't use in the last beta, and I thought they were going to delete characters, so I was about to just go spend it all, but now I'm glad I didn't, because I ran out of time. That's the last waypoint, so I've got every waypoint in Lion's Arch now, whoops, uh, a few more points of interest I gotta get though, that looks like the only one, it says I still need four more. But I don't, I don't see the other ones. Did I miss some? I don't think I missed any. I'm probably blind. You probably, you guys are probably watching this and like it's right there, it's right there. But I don't, I don't see it. And I bet you I know why I don't see it. I probably have to go down into one of these things, and there's probably some more points of interest below Lion's Arch, or if there's a second level, or however this is gonna work. But for now, let's go check this out. This is like an interesting little bridge that goes through a boat. Oh, I almost fell through a hole. Jesus Christ! This is not a safe bridge, <laughs> slash boat. There we go. Forming a guild with just Asura and Lord. It's called Brains and Bones. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not really too sure how to get in here. Maybe that's the... Oh my god. I almost jumped off that. <laughs> Thinking I could get across. This is a really steep bridge. I don't see how I could climb it if this wasn't a video game. Well, easily at least. We got we got the Sora portals in progress here. Working on some extra ones. I still haven't found the Mystic Forge. So I'm going to pause it while I go search for that. So guys, I'm retarded, and I found the Mystic Forge. It was in the middle of the map the entire time. I, I, I just figured this was a fountain. So you can see it says Zomoros right there. I don't know. There's no actual person. I guess it's the forge itself. So let's try it out. Place four items into the forge to create new items. Uh, I did not realize that it was going to ask for four. So maybe I'll go to a merchant real quick and just buy four random items. Any merchant around here? Armor smith or anything? I'm looking to hire a guy. Alright, alright, Pika. Excelsior. Something tells me that ingredients are not going to work. But we're going to try anyway. Might have to go buy some weapons. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I did that in the first place. Let's go find an armor smith. There is no profit in the eternal alchemy. Welcome. I know there's an armor smith around here. A weaponsmith. Right here. Spirits of the wild, welcome. Here. Good hunting. No, that's not the weapon weapons trader that I wanted. This is the crafting commons. There we go. Okay, armor smith and weapon smith. This is what I want. Uh, where's the weapon smith? There you are. Melissa aid you. So let's just buy some random. Sh Dagger, longbow, shortbow, harpoon, rifle, pistol. Get some level 25 stuff too. Dagger. I don't really need any of this stuff. Why not? Let's see what else we can do. Spear gun. Alright, that should be enough. Let's go back to the forge. Now we can see what we can get from this place. Have a few tries at it. I want to put my actual stuff in there. And the dagger. And yeah, we'll just make a random combination of stuff. Hammer. And a torch. Alright, let's see what we got. He gave me a scepter. Ooh. 
thank you for the scepter. I don't want it. Eh, how do I know what's mine? I don't want to put my actual weapons in there. These are my actual ones. And so is... The harpoon and the spear gun. I want to use those. It's better. Alright, let's see what we got now. What are you going to give me? Hardy Simple Focus. Cool, I guess. I don't really want you either. Let's see what I can get out of these. Ah, oh, no! Can't put those in. Yeah, definitely not putting that spear gun in there. Wait, wait a second. 189 to 209. Why is it telling me I have two different spear guns? Oh, that's because this one requires level 25. That's why I can't use it. Alright. Why not? What are you going to give me now? Something interesting. A scepter! Oh! Summers. Never would have guessed. Yeah, it's not happening. I wish I could just forge with a few things. So this thing, eh, granted I'm putting really cruddy weapons in there. But, it seems kind of worthless, not worth it. Maybe it'll get better. I put better weapons in there. Maybe I'll keep some that I find along the world, like junk weapons, instead of buying the really, really cruddy ones from the merchant over here. More violence, less violence. Well, this is interesting. So these are one off rewards, kind of like cupcakes in Guild Wars. Well, they are cupcakes, but slightly different. Not as good. Alright, I'm going to try to get the other waypoints, or points of interest. So I found one of the points of interest. You actually have to go underwater into like this little cavern type thing. Uh, if I can figure out how to get over to it. It's over there. There it is. Oh, that's not so big Yes, I'm a pirate. So what? Find myself another bag. one of those. How many uses does it have? It doesn't say. 25. Eh. How many uses would, say, a journeyman's have? 25 as well. I'll get one of each. What does this do?
Smith over here. Yar. The lion guard cut my friend brawling and forced him to join the Scofflaws Guild. Scofflaws Guild? What do you mean? Yar. What are these pirates? Those valuables look heavy. It and go to the next one. Alright, so I believe this is the next cave area thing. We got some tickets, some crabs. Oh. Whisper. Know what cannot be known. So it looks like Lion's Arch has got a lot of, I guess, hidden areas. Probably has something to do with the storyline somewhere. No refunds. There we go. Now I've completed all of the Lion's Arch waypoints and areas of interest. What the heck is this? I guess I'm not allowed in. I'd love to be able to, like, kind of see what's going on in there. Anyway. Eh, good enough for me. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Experience. Alright, so that makes sense though. You would only get experience because there's not really any monsters to defeat or events to complete. So I'm going to find the new area and get back to you guys shortly. Alright, so I think this is the new area. So let's check it out. Yep, Ginder and Field. Jindar and Fields, or however you pronounce that. So this is the new area, and I believe it's going to be 25 to 35, yeah, 25 to 35, and I'm just, I'm not even 25 yet, so, I'm just going to have to explore a bit. a 
scout over there. That'll help. And there's a defeated player right in front of me, so I should, should probably help him. He's probably like, what the fuck, man? I'm just sitting here. Now he's level 3. So he doesn't really know what he's doing here. Go over to the scout. Did I leave that option on from the last time? It's an option where you can show all enemy names. Yeah, I did. I guess I did leave that on. Seven and level four. I'm sorry, guys. Not really gonna help me too much. It's beautiful out here, isn't it? So green and fertile, Apple Nook is a place of simple, hard-working folk who take their harvest from the sea and the soil. But I must urge caution. Pirates are thick as weeds out on the lake and give the people no end of grief. Grab these waypoints while I'm over here. These guys are friendly, so I don't have to worry about them. These guys are not. I guess I'll, I'll try to do this. It says I gotta be level 30 if I want to complete that properly. But I'm 24. We're gonna give it a go anyway. You know, I'm gonna try the other slot skill. Alright, get extra initiative. Oops, this is where I wanna go. Actually, this is where I want to go. So I gotta kill pirates. No, protect supplies against pirates. Yeah, kill other pirates and keep the fields clear of pests. So I'm guessing this is a pest. So, let's see if I can kill it. Really? We killed each other at the same time, so I guess I don't get rallied for that. Not bad, though, for being level 24 and what's looking like a level 30 zone.
really. definitely not going to be easy but I'm not going to bore you with me you dying a million step. times step. so this is basically it this is the new area what they've changed so far um, the new you know progression system as far as utility skills and I'm definitely liking the changes so uh, stay tuned maybe later on I'll get a crafting video going up or something so have a good day, guys.